Well, here we are in beautiful Milan, Italy, and we are here for the ITMA show. And of course, we're sitting in the ZSK booth uh, with my good friend Renee. And uh, the ITMA stands for International Textile Machinery Association. This is a show that happens every four years throughout Europe. Uh, last time it was in Barcelona, Spain, and this year it's, of course, in Milan, Italy. It's just been a wonderful experience. Um, with uh, this show, it's just been amazing. Uh, you have over 450 companies um, covering so many different aspects of this industry, and you have almost 50 countries represented. And just to give you a little taste of what is represented here, um, we have everything from spinning and knitting, weaving, lab equipment, printing, screen printing, washing, finishing, software, embroidery, of course, uh, rhinestones, and the list goes on and on and on. There's about 11 different halls with all this uh, machinery being shown, um, people showing us and uh, talking to us about you know, what they do. It's just been amazing. And not only that, but this show covers nine days. And, you know, it's just, I don't even know how many visitors actually come. But every day has been just wonderfully busy. And um, Renee is going to help us and uh, show us a little bit about uh, ZSK's presence here, um, what we do have here. So I'm going to hand it over to Renee, and he's going to tell us a little bit about ITMA. Thanks, Andrea. Yes, indeed. Uh ITMA show is for every textile company making machines very, very important. It's just a need to be here. It's necessary to show all the new products which you have developed. And um, basically, it is so much important because people are coming from all over the world. It doesn't matter almost. You told it already. It's almost 50 different countries. Even more people are from different countries are here for sure. And um, by the way, um, happy Diwali for the Indian guys. They have now a special celebration in India. You see here our little god, what we have here for you, especially. But let's come back to the CSK. Well, CSK is showing here on the ITMA since 1987. And as I told you, it is so much important. And basically, we are showing all new stuff, what we have on the machine and also on our software. And it is so much important because also our all distributors are coming here on the booth from all over the world. They're meeting the customers, they're meeting, let's say, the distributor itself, right, the agencies. So it's a lot of fun, and we have here basically a big family, and it's just, just good. But I would say, Andrea, let's go to the machine, and I will show you what is new, right? All right. We're here now at the, uh, the Sprint 6. It's the single-head embroidery machine. And uh, Renee, please tell us a little bit about the, the machine that's doing the hats. Yes, I will. It's a pleasure. Thanks to have you here in the ITMA, in the Milan, in Italy. So, well, um, what we have here is then our new Sprint 6, which you have seen maybe already in our video. Basically, we show here on that machine how to do caps. The cap device here, what we have, can go until 270 degrees, and it means basically 360 millimeter, which is in inches. Andrea, please help me. Up, up, up. 14 inches. 14 inches, right? So what is the benefit of that machine? Basically, I may be, or you have seen it already on the video, we are able to make not only caps on that machine, we are able also to do, for instance, soccer shoes, for instance. You see that? And a lot of Nike shops here using our machines to put an embroidery on a soccer shoe. So it goes easily through and makes it perfect, and the view is even very, very nice. So, Renee, uh, is this something that you have to do special or can any any sprint do this basically every sprint can do it and what you need is a special device we call it actually the shoe frame or shoe hoop which is an option on the machine but it's not too expensive at all and it makes a lot of fun to do it it's very unique right so we also show on that machine our barcode reader so you you know this maybe as well we are able to load and designs via barcode. And what else do we have here? The machine does have actually inside a new cam, so the stitch view is much more nicer, much more clean, and it can go very nicely in details. And um, well, um, of course the machine can do as well t-shirts and jackets and everything what you can imagine. All right, thank you, Renee. Let's go on to the next machine. Yes, we do. 
So here we are at the next Sprint 6, and Renee, I can see it's doing something completely different than CAPS. Can you tell us uh, what this Sprint 6 is doing here? Well, this Sprint does have now a table on top and actually a border frame too. And what we are going to go showing here is um, embroidery in the finest details. And so we are now in Milan. We show here on that machine the Cathedral of Milan in very precise link stitches. Also very small lettering you can see as well here. Basically, we want to show that that machine can do very hard stuff as well as very sensitive and very particular tiny stitches as well. So how is uh, the, the small detail work, the, let, the small lettering, I know that's a very big thing. How, uh, how well is this being received here uh, at the show along with the, uh, the hatching being able to do the, the 270? Right. Well, uh, the people love it, honestly, yeah. It is just, um, it's amazing to see how tiny stitches can be done and how in detail you can do something like, as we can see here, the cathedral. And how big are these letters here that I see? We have it here now on 3 mm, 3 millimeters. Wow, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now let's go see some more amazing stuff, yes, all right? Definitely. Let's go. So here we are at another Sprint 6, and I see that we also have the border frame on this guy. Um, but there's something special about the sequins attachment. That's right, Andrea. Basically, as you said, this is a sequin attachment, but we do have your special sequins. Sequins, which are actually LEDs, means little lights are on the sequin itself, and we are able now to put them on any garment, any fabric, whatever you can imagine, just to make it a little bit fancy or to make it maybe for some one reason important could be also a warning vest for your car what you know when you have a problem that you stop over and uh, well it's lightning quite bright this is one of the possibilities but it's not the only reason why we use those sequins for instance basically you can also put RFID chips on it imagine in any working clothes for instance you can put RFID chips in or sensors maybe so we are able to do that in 3 millimeter diameter until 19 millimeter diameter. Wow, that's very interesting. Um, how does it work? I mean, how, how do you make these, these LEDs light up? Right. So it has a way to do, of course, with the digitizing. We have, of course, on each sequin here, LED sequin, a plus and a minus connection, which has to be, uh, yeah, you have to make sure that you get in into these holes and basically what is important that you use a thread which is contactive and here we do have one possibility this is made by silver from Ammon and you know it maybe by the name Isacord um, this is what we're using here and we just make sure that we actually as I said hit the plus connection as well as the minus one for the electricity and then we put here simply a battery on and um, you will see then later on an overview how bright these LEDs are shining. So what other applications can you use them in uh, besides just decorative? I mean, you yes. said the RFID. Right. Also can be done as a sensor for antennas, for instance, right? Sensors to make sure that wherever you have parts in passing by any light barrier or whatever, you make sure there is my, let's say, a forklift for instance, right? Or whatever. There are a lot of possibilities, actually endless. Wonderful. Well, thanks for showing us this and uh, on to the next. So here we are now at the Forehead Racer by ZSK and uh, this is doing something I'm really excited about. They're actually stitching on pockets. You can see a panel here that has a pocket and what's really cool is that you're not even stitching through it. And Renee, you can tell us how this is working, right? right. Well, before, as you can imagine, all the pockets has to be put off and put an embroidery on it and then they sew it back together. That was quite a hard work. Nowadays, we are able to make the pockets, as Andrea told you already, directly on it. And this is actually why, because we have now also here our very small arm, as the sprint machine does have, from a two head until to a eight head. And also that machine does have no picker anymore in front which allows us to go very close into the edge of the frame. That's really nice. 
and uh, and also there's been some new developments, right, with the pocket frames? Yes, we have now a complete set. A three set means like we have uh, a very small pocket frame. This is the middle one that you just can imagine. A smaller one is available and the third one is quite a little bit bigger. Wow, that's great. All right, thank you, Renee. One more thing. Yeah, sure. Um, I see that we're also doing some really nice small lettering, small detail oh, work yeah. in such a small area. And you can see the precision right. of the, right. the ZSK along with the special consumable items that we're using that we are able to attain this type of. Right, absolutely. So, well, um, even here, as I told you already on the sprint machine, we are able to make now really nice embroidery, very detailed. But of course, we're using also very thin yarn. And in this case, on that machine, we have now a Madeira size 60. And uh, well, it makes it good shop, as you can see. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much. You're and welcome. We'll go to the next one. Yes, indeed. All right. Wow. Uh, so here we are at the Two Head Racer. And um, this is really kind of cool. Um, this is a tubular machine. And with tubular, you could do finished goods like shirts and hats and things like that. But uh, here we have a table which uh, is, is emulating the flat machines. And you even have a special frame for this, right? Yes, indeed. Um, all our tubular machines can have a table, as you can see, a very solid table and a border frame on top of it. The border frame is really, really neat. Um, it's all made metal, it's very solid, even the clips what we have here is metal and solid as you can see and easy to handle, just go like this and the fabric is fixed. So why we are using these border frames? Border frames can be used for bed sheets, for king size pillows, for tablecloths, everything what is quite big where you need a big area, that one is just fantastic for it. Wonderful, so we can see that we're using a large field and even doing specialty decoration with a couple attachments here and also a special needle. So uh, please enlighten us on this. All right, okay. Going through to this special needle you pointed already, this is what we call a borer. What is a borer for? Borer makes a hole inside the fabric. Actually, it's cutting the fabric, right? And we sew it then together with another needle and then you got a nice hole. What is sometimes you see it in uh, curtains, you know, also sometimes in tablecloths. But it can be done also on shirts, on polo shirts if you want to. It's just something special. Yeah, yeah. that's really neat. And then you have here, you have, uh, I guess what we would call like a cording. Yes, indeed. This is a cording device. This cording device can also be fixed on every other machine. It doesn't matter which one. Even older machines, like they are eight, nine years old, you can put this on. That's fabulous. And um, what we are, have here, this is a real good thing compared to something what um, is called the cording device on a needle. That one is supporting the cord. But if I push here my little finger here, the cording, you see the cording is coming or even it goes backwards. It makes sure when you have very tiny curves, very particular tiny curves, that the cord will be set it there where it should be. And then there's even something more, right, that you're yes, telling me indeed. about, about yeah. uh, this, this? Also, we are the first one who can do a taping with a cording device. I have just it here now as a sample. This is also done by this device. So you can use tapes, for instance. And in this case, you will get a little cassette with it. And the cassette does, can contain about six yards on this um, ribbon. And then you can make also ribbons. And we have here a sample even on tulle, as you can see. That's pretty neat. That's wonderful. And then uh, we have sequins, right? Yes. Something shiny again. Yeah, well, this is not really something new, but um, especially what we show here is a sequin, which is only two millimeters in the diameter. It's so tiny, but we are able to do this in a high speed. And uh, well, it's just something for fashion and it looks really good. Yes. People love it. Absolutely, and especially here in Milan where, where fashion is big, I can see that this is very important for, for Awesome. Well, thanks again, and again, we'll go to the next, uh, the next machine. Yes. Okay, so now we are here at the, uh, the 10 head, and this is really interesting, especially for us in the United States, because um, this is a little bit different than what we're used to. This is a flat machine, right? Right. And uh, it's showing something really, really unique on here. And uh, can you please tell us what's going on? Yes, of course. 
Um, we show on this machine some new attachment which we just actually developed a few months ago. And one of these is uh, the sequin device, what we hear. And the sequin device does do sequins with rhinestones on it. And uh, we find out, or actually Mr. Metzler from our company find it out together with a company called N&H. They are doing rhinestone machines. And so we, this is pretty cool. You will see then later an overview of this uh, particular design. And it's amazing. All the people love it, just love it. Yeah, that's, it's really beautiful. Um, I love to see those, those two um, components um, put together. It's really unique. And right. uh, this has been really exciting for us. So what else can you show us on here? Well, the second thing what we have here, brand new, is a hot air cutter. This one can be fixed on every CSK machine. And it's basically done by hot air, cutting by hot air. What, how does it work, actually? We do have underneath the machine a little tiny compressor and it pulls up the air to this, yeah, let's say to this um, little part here and it heats it up until 400 degrees Celsius. So when I want to make, for instance, an applique, then I can use this little thing here and it works just brilliant. Basically, we fix it on needle number 12, as you can see, and when I go then to needle number 12, automatically I can adjust the height how deep it goes through to the fabric, and so I can burn even quite thick material as well. So, um, how are you showing this uh, attachment here at the show? I see you've got a really unique design. How are you showing how it works? Well, we have pieces of fabrics here, and when the machine stops, we know that we have to put on these little squares on fabric, and we just put it there where the replica should start. It will be fixed with a running line quickly, and after that is done, it starts with the cutter and all the people are just amazed how it works. Nobody could expect that the hot air can be so hot to cut actually fabric, right? So this, um, this seems to be pretty unique. What are the benefits that you see with this hot air cutter versus other methods of cutting fabric? First of all, it's easy to adjust. Second, it's it easy also for older machines from ZSK to connect it or to put it on. And a very important point is compared to a laser, it's much more cheaper, much more cheaper. Yeah, well that's, that's big, especially when um, you wanna add this to any machine. That's, right. That's very unique. Yeah. Thank you for joining us here in Milan, Italy for the 2015 International Textile Machinery Association Exhibition. We hope you enjoyed this experience with us here at CSK Machines. Ciao, and see you next time.